On the 3rd of July 2021, Games Workshop released the latest starter set for Age of Sigmar, Dominion. This is the third edition of Age of Sigmar following the Broken Realms campaign with a new battalion system and a Path to Glory narrative campaign. We also got introduced to the newest Stormcast hero, Yndrasta, with some new Stormcast units, but more importantly, we got a brand new Oryx sub-faction, the Cruel Boys. Now the Cruel Boys have been hanging around my hobby shade since that release date. For over six months I keep saying to myself, the Cruel Boys are a great looking army, I really should start painting them up sometime. Right before I shoved them back into model obscurity for another while. Well that time has finally come. It's January 2022 and the project I'm doing to kick off the new year is the Road to the Killer Boss. It really is a shame that it took me so long to get around to paint these guys because it looks like a great starter army. You have your smaller guys with the hobgrots, a bunch of big infantry guys, a great looking banner and three unique hero models. So what exactly is the plan going to be? The project is simple. In order to paint the cruel boy's main hero, the killaboss on Nash Tooth, I gotta paint the rest of the army first. The army consists of 7 units and each week I'm going to paint a different unit that will show how I paint the specific parts of the models. This will then show the overall paint scheme of the army. This week I'm starting with the devious Hobgrat slitters and how I painted their skin. First thing I did was prime the model grey and then started the skin with Hobgrat hide. If I remember correctly this was a new paint that came out the same time as the Dominion box. So it's the first time I've actually got to use this paint. It covers really thin even though it's a base colour, so I did apply two thin layers. You can even apply the third if you need it. With the base layers all dry, I shaded the hobgrat with Seraphim Sepia. It's a great wash to darken the yellowish skin tone, just the right amount. The final part of the skin was highlighted with a 70-30 mix of hobgrat hide and Corax white. This is applied on the highest parts of the skin, like the muscles and the raised skin parts. With the rest of the parts painted up and the hobgrat based, he's now battle ready. The hobgrats are a funny little bunch. They're described as tougher and brainier than their diminutive cousins, so they're definitely not to be underestimated. Building wise, they were easily put together. The only problem I have is the slap bases. I usually clip the models off the slap filler and then fill in the holes of the base. 20 hobgrots seems like a lot of models to paint, but the majority of them are 90% flesh. It was actually more time consuming painting the metal parts and the ropes on the little guys. And I think not having to paint a pink flesh colour made it more enjoyable because I can struggle with painting a pink flesh. Well that's one unit down and checked off the list. Next week I'm moving on to the army's muscle with the bigger, stronger and meaner gut rippers and how to paint their green skin. But if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.